Hey, 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 Kate here. It's Friday afternoon, and I'm headed to work. And I'm tired of making late videos. You guys need to keep me on my toes, because I've been slacking. And I've just been really, really busy, but that's no excuse, because everyone in life is busy, right? So this is my attest to you that I'm going to uh, attempt to make earlier videos. Hopefully you can hear me because it's raining outside, but this was the best light in the house, or outside of the house. So, before I start my video, I wanted to give a little shout out to a program that I'm really interested in. Um, as you know, it's almost the holidays, and regardless of the holiday that you choose, um, there are a lot of people that don't get to celebrate because of money or time or whatever. So, um, there's this program called Operation Christmas Child, and they do have a website, I think it's called thesamaritanspurse.com, and they're doing shoeboxes for kids. So what you do is you get a shoebox of normal size and you fill it with a bunch of like toys and candy and notebooks and school supplies and things you think a kid would really like. And then you put the lid on the box and you take it to one of the donation centers near you and they're all over the nation. And then they send this shoebox to kids all over the world, um, whether the kid lives in New York or in Sudan. Um, obviously your box is going to vary drastically depending on where your kid is but that's the cool part is that you make a seven dollar donation and you get to track where it goes so you'll see when it gets to your kid and what location it goes to and possibly even get a letter or a note back from the kid that you send it to so you should check that out and let's get on with the video okay so this week, as you know, we're doing a little MySpace survey type version week, which I'm stoked about because I used to be a huge nerd and love MySpace surveys. In fact, I still have a MySpace, and um, it wasn't not too long ago that I did a survey for fun. So if you still do those, you should definitely make a post here or a video comment and join in the fun with us. Um, so the first question is, what is the last thing to make you cry? And I have to admit, since transitioning, crying is very, very difficult for me. Um, I used to cry over really cheesy things, and it wasn't difficult. Um, I wouldn't have said I was uh, a crier, but, but it wasn't very hard to remember the last time that I cried. And now it is extremely difficult. I think I've cried maybe twice in the last three years. Um, I don't know if that's healthy or not. Uh, you psychotherapists can chime in on whether or not I should cry more often, but maybe it's because my life is getting better, right? I think that's a good thing. Um, the second one was, when was the last time you laughed? And I am a huge nerd. I laugh at the most ridiculous things. Um, so the, the last thing that I laughed at was, uh, or one thing that I laugh at often, is really, really stupid commercials. And there are two I have in mind. Okay. Uh, the last commercial that made me laugh was the baby commercials that are really popular now. I don't remember the company right off the bat, and I don't have my computer with me here on the porch to tell you, but I will post the link. I promise I'll post the link down below so that you can watch it, but it's the one where the babies are talking to each other, and the one they're talking like over Skype or whatever, and She's like, I can see the other baby in the background, and I don't know, they're talking, and the, the, the guy baby is supposed to be cheating on the girl baby, and they're like, oh, I can smell her, or something cheesy. Anyway, I'm sure you've all seen the commercial. You should watch it below if you haven't, and it's hilarious. The second one is the baby in the, in the stroller that's like supposed to be a, a printer commercial and it travels across the nation in this little uh, stroller thing and its face and the song that they play is just hilarious to me. I don't know why. It's probably not funny. Same as the Dunkin Donuts commercial where the lady wakes up and her coffee cup like leads her to the Don Dunkin Donuts coffee and she like can't control it. I'll post that link too. I don't know why. I don't know why I have a thing for cheesy commercials. Does anyone else have something ridiculous? Like, I know they're not that funny, obviously. Like, it, they spent a small amount of marketing dollars to make that commercial happen, but it makes me happy. And that's all that counts, right? The third question, MySpace survey question that you guys asked, or that was listed, was the last thing to confuse you. And I'm pretty sure I, I'm confused a lot. I seem really intelligent, but I wake up in a new world every day. 
I came downstairs in my parents' house the other day and asked when we painted the dining room green. The dining room has been green, I guess, for apparently like six weeks now, and I had no idea. Ah, my most recent confusion, and maybe you guys can help me out with this, is what the heck to do with my degree. I'm graduating very, very soon, thank the Lord, in sociology, and I have absolutely no idea what to do with my degree. Um, obviously, you know I am extremely interested in social service and youth and awareness, stuff like that. It's basically being a missionary if I could get paid money for it. Um, so you guys should send me some tips on what to do. I really don't want to work for CPS or the state, mostly because I think that I'll burn out really quickly. Um, I'd like to do something a little bit more creative than that. So, there's your mission for this week. And send me your own video and tell me what you laugh about, what you cry about, or what confuses you. I'm going to go enjoy the rain for a little bit before I have to go to work. So, it's been nice talking to you guys. I'll catch you next week. Peace.